just looking outside. Snow's pretty. Great to be free. Now as a free man or a free person or free people, we have the right to do as we want within our basic society. We don't need anybody to tell us what to do or when to do it or how to do it. We don't need anyone to tell us, well, we're going to give you this right and that right, but no, that's not. We had, we had rights from the beginning. Our Creator gave us that will to make our own decisions. You don't need government intervention that says what rights are yours and what rights are not yours. We set up a contract, an ironclad contract called the Constitution so that the government could not intervene upon our rights. Our rights to go into church, our rights of free speech, our rights to keep and bear arms without any kind of infringement, the right to travel, the right to not have our home searched without a, a warrant, not a no-knock warrant, a warrant. We have all kinds of rights. And then there's people in government who think that uh, they are beyond that, that they can limit what you can do, whereas it's only the, the government that is limited. They must stay within their bounds. Or, if they break the Constitution, the contract, and keep trying to undermine the Constitution, they are trying to overthrow their own government. They will be tried for treason, they will be hung, they will be shot, they will be beheaded, whatever it takes. We are free men, we're going to stay free men, and people like Schumer and Pelosi and Boxer and Feinstein and Rubio and Lindsey Graham, all those people. You are our servants. We are not your servants. You better get that through your head. See, this country was found on religion. And the firearms protected a lot of rights, and they still do to this day. Nothing's changed. People have gotten more diabolical, but nothing's changed. This is our country. If you kind of people don't like it, leave. Nobody's stopping you. Let Pelosi get on that plane. Make it a one-way trip. Make sure she takes all of her socialist friends with her. We don't want to pay for fuel twice. Well, people, that's how I feel about it. As a free person, you have free will. God give you that free will. Nobody can tell you how many rounds a month you need. How, or how, why do you have to go sign a, uh, when you go purchase a firearm, why you have to sign for that registration? It's none of their damn business. It's none. That firearm could be stolen and uh, used in a crime and they go, oh, well, you know, so-and-so had it, so he must have done it. No, 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 no. Gun registry is just is what happened in Nazi Germany. They come and collected the guns. All, all, all registration is, is gun confiscation. There's no other way around it. You don't need that. You don't need background checks. Oh, we're able to, to, to weed out the bad people. That's none of your damn business. Every person in this country has a right to keep and bear arms for protection. Whether it's protection from tyranny, or whether it's somebody trying to break in his house and steal all his belongings and kill his wife and kids. Protection against any mad dogs that might get loose and uh, terrorize the country. Against invasion from, from uh, an outside foreign force or invasion from our Congress. That's what it's about. 
we have the right to choose. Not the government. The government doesn't have that right. They are constitutionally barred. That's why it was put in, that's why those amendments were put into place. Those first ten amendments, the most important thing in it, uh, well, almost the most important thing that's in that Constitution. And like I said, your forefathers, they wrote it, they signed it, it made it an ironclad contract, and you people, you're coming out of the woodwork and you're trying to gain yourself some more power. If you, if you want to set up a fascist government somewhere, leave this country. You're not welcome here. You ain't smart enough. The people, the, you know, it's funny. The people in the asylums and stuff with mental illness have a higher IQ than what you people do. They know what's going on in this world, not you. I guarantee it. You know, you belittle people. You turn them into to, to the second and third and fourth class citizens so that you can look good and feel good when you go home making all that money for something that you didn't have any business to touch with in the first place. Leave the Bill of Rights alone. You are not legally able to do anything with firearms. You are not, we do not need government intervention. It's not wanted, and it's not legal to accept it. We weren't not going to comply. We didn't comply when King George wanted them. We're sure as hell not going to let our own people take our firearms in any manner, shape, or form, or restrict any kind of rights that we were born with. Thanks for watching.